All right, hey everybody, doing this recording from work. Um, so I'm gonna talk about some basic, basic, basic electrical testers. So we're gonna talk about what most people have seen: uh, a digital multimeter called a DMM. Sometimes you hear them called VOMs, volt ohm milliamp meter. That's the M is for milliamp. Um, this one has a clamp on for testing for current. I also have this little tester here. Klein, it just gives you whether it's 240, 120, 24, or 12 volt um, AC. Then we have the various outlet testers, receptacle testers. These two are for testing GFCIs, and this one is just for anything. Well, they can be used for anything, but they have the button there to trip a GFCI to test it. Um, and if you haven't seen these work before, oh, goody, I got these tamper-resistant outlets. They're always fun to do this with. So this is a tamper-resistant outlet. and just stabs in like that. It'll give you uh, – the lights will light up. And if you see, there's a code that goes to it. You figure out what light – if all three are lit up, you're in good shape. If anything other than all three, look at it and figure out what the what the problem is, and you work from there. Uh, now, one, no, I also have this setup is for testing. I use it for testing uh, Cat 5e e cable when I have students do punch down, and they make uh, make jumper cables. They're not called jumper cables. What are they called? I don't remember what the name is. It's just Cat 5e. Two RJ45 jacks on the end, and you put it in. If someone thinks of the right name, please put it in the comments below. Um, and then a non-voltage, I'm sorry, non-contact voltage tester. And you'll notice I have a lot of Klein because I buy a lot of Klein. Uh, and the non-contact, just like it is, you don't have to touch anything. You just touch the wire. Always pay attention, though. They're okay to check stuff with, but sometimes. If there's something, if you've got an open neutral, you'll get bit. Um, now this, this is what I use, something like this is what I used to carry all the time. This, uh, this does not have any batteries. It is a solenoid. So it has a, a magnet, it has a coil and a piece of metal in it that it moves. So the solenoid is what makes this work. So I don't have to have any batteries. It isn't as exact as my DMM, it won't give me that exact number, but this I can use anywhere without, if my batteries are dead, it'll still work. It'll let me know if there's a live circuit. And a lot of times that's all I was using this for is to test live circuits when I was, when I was doing installations. I didn't really care. One thing I would do, pull some of this out of here, is I put it in my pocket Been a long time since I've done this. Put it in my pocket, keep one around my neck, or keep them both around my neck, and then when I was ready to test, I just take it off, test. I could feel it, the the solenoid move in my pocket, so I know if it was hot or not, because I'm not really chasing um, the exact number when I'm doing that. I'm just testing if it's hot. If it's hot, then I need to figure out where the breaker is to shut it down. There's a lot of different opinions on how what to do and how to do things. I try not to work hot as much as I possibly can. I've worked hot plenty. I just try to avoid it. It's just simpler. It keeps everything more uh, safe if you don't work hot. But sometimes you just can't get past it and you have to. I just try to avoid it. Now, I like these, and I'll always keep one of these around. Uh, Wiggins is the original brand. That's what most everybody will hear people call them Wiggies. I always have one of these in my bucket because um, my batteries die, and this doesn't. This just works without batteries. Always test it on a known <laughs> energized circuit before you go try to troubleshoot or do anything else with it to make sure that your uh, tester is working. That goes with any of the testers. Test them on a known operational one first before you go out and start testing. 
because then at least you know you started with a working tester. You don't want to go out there and be guessing. And uh, this, this is a short, short, sweet, brief. And that is it.